Hello everybody, welcome back. This is your tropical update for June 23rd. We're currently watching Tropical Storm Brett located over the Eastern Caribbean Sea where it's weakening and Tropical Storm Cindy located over the tropical Atlantic where it's currently paused over its intensification period. It recently went. Again, Cindy used to be called Tropical Depression 4, so you may remember that from yesterday and Brett uh, very ragged over the Caribbean Sea. We'll zoom in on that here in a second. You'll see the impact map decreased for many areas. I'm still keeping a couple of leeward islands under minimal impacts due to potential impacts due to Tropical Storm Cindy. That was a lot of due to and impacts all in the same sentence there. Also Bermuda uh, still under a minimal impact risk uh, due to the storms. Added to the minimal risk now is the ABC Islands due to Brett. Brett's going to make a close call to them, uh, but again, it's weakening and all the stuff is off to the eastern side of the system uh, and north of the center. As we can see here, Brett, it will die out. I mean, you can hardly even see it here on the ensembles. There's a lot of activity going on in the eastern Pacific Ocean, which we will uh, probably not talk about unless something major is going to impact like Baja or something like that, but that's usually not the case. So uh, I don't anticipate that. This is maybe the last update, maybe not. kind of depends on how things trend with Cindy. As we can see here, many storms keep it alive the next couple of days. And then after that, the storm either dies or re-intensifies after a close call uh, and nears the island of Bermuda. So we'll continue to monitor that. Here's the zoomed in version of Brett. You can see basically a naked swirl with some clouds way far away from the center here. Uh, and then only recently, another plume of convection near the center of the storm. Again, all those winds are to the north side of the storm. The rains are far away from the center of it. Uh, and it's going to make a close call near the ABC Islands, Venezuela, and Colombia here shortly. Uh, and by Sunday morning, this storm will be a storm no longer. As we can see here, by uh, I didn't even use the time of arrival uh, of those times. But it doesn't really matter. The, the fact is... Nothing major really uh, going to continue to be a concern with Brett. As you can see, a decrease in strength it appears most likely. Uh, the AVNI, I believe that's a GFS version, uh, says that the storm will somehow survive the cross from the Atlantic to the Pacific, which has happened before. It doesn't happen too often, uh, but it's just something to be aware of. I assume, I guess. The H Wharf is finally on, on par with the rest of the models, albeit still on the north side of the envelope. Again, this storm will die out. We aren't hugely concerned about it. Here's Tropical Storm Cindy, a good amount of convection with it. Still not majorly organized here, uh, which is less than ideal, I suppose. Uh, tropical Storm strength is expected through Monday afternoon, and then, uh, I mean, even before then, we'll probably see some weakening of the system. Uh, and then likely, according to the Hurricane Center, by early next week, the storm will die out. But again, that's something we want to keep an eye on because if it doesn't die out, Bermuda is in the crosshairs of Cindy, albeit it shouldn't be a strong storm. You'll see here, though, after it goes through that weakening period, many of the models, albeit not the official, that's that black line, OFCL and OFCI at the bottom, those two uh, really don't re-intensify the storm, but a lot of the models are re-intensifying the storm after a dip in strength and then takes it up towards Bermuda which I have highlighted in that lime green circle there where the TVCN model uh, nears in somewhere between that pink and the red there so just something to keep an eye on also the official model and the UK met models much further to the south not taking a northward turn towards those islands so that's again just something for us to be aware of here in the near future the Successor to the H Wharf, the HALFS model uh, is projecting basically a Cat 1 hurricane. Uh, however, it has that northward turn occur way earlier than many of the other models do, and it should avoid Bermuda here. This uh, model is for five days from now. So it's def definitely something to keep an eye on interest in Bermuda and need to monitor the system, as well as interest in the northern Leeward Islands. But if we go back here, the storm is expected to pass well with the northeast of those islands. That's all for now. Chris Dixon, Info Weather Media.